and welcome back to the uh, third um, installment of uh, Alteryx Weekly, Weekly Challenge with, with me, Nick Bignall. I, uh, this is my uh, third attempt to um, to do the weekly challenges and I'm, I'm doing it with recording it. So uh, for your entertainment, I've uh, I have been using Alteryx quite a while, but I haven't, because of my role, I haven't been using it um, as a as a user as a uh, from a data data perspective so i'm uh, a little bit rusty so i'm using these challenges to uh uh increase my skills and i think hopefully you'll find it um entertaining hopefully it'll help you train as well and, and get you interested in doing these um these weekly uh weekly weekly challenges so um <clears throat> we're on uh, challenge number 3 which is something called running averages uh, so let's have a look at the the start file this way um and just bring it up okay uh and this is what it looks like when you when you start so we have running averages so the the goal is to create a three and six month running averages uh let's just you can see this, uh, running averages of all the values contained in the columns uh c l k ninety eight and p l k ninety eight Really catchy named uh, fields there, but this is one, two, three, four, six fields um, by something called RM category. Okay, so uh, for example, uh, 208, 218 is the average of the, of the first month, 218, and second month, 200. Uh, so the, the average of the two of them is 212 okay um and then uh yes i guess if you take yeah it's 212 uh, and then this one is if you take the average of all three which would be uh yeah it would be 233 okay so hint for the values that do not exist uh, set values to the closest valid row okay so let's have a look uh let's first of all what i recommend we do is we run uh we run this so run okay that will give us something to work on so now we have this this is the rm category here by the looks of it uh we have month year and then the six fields with uh, values in them. Um, okay, so if we just bring on that, looks like we've got some yellow here. Uh, okay, so uh, it looks like they're being picked up as numbers, uh, some yellows. So let's have a look and see if we can find what that is. Some nulls there. There we go. Nulls. Okay, so we have some nulls. Uh, the uh, so the data actually only goes up to June 2014 by the looks of it. And then then the next the next um, category RM category uh, switches over. So okay, so to do running averages, we need to kind of look at uh, the previous, uh, you kind of set up a something, uh, look for the previous row, um, and then runs that, runs through that now. So let's have a look. Um, let's have a look. So let's have a look at the solution and see what, uh, or the, what the output should be, I should say. It's not the solution, it only tells the output. Um, but here we go. So the, it looks like we have, uh, okay, so that's that. We'll look back here. That's that 218, so CLK8098 uh, for the first month. So that category and that, so that's the, the value. So I'm suppose, assuming, because this is the same value, that's the, um, that is the three month average. Uh, yes, and then this is the six month average oh or is that just the original amount then it's the three month and then it's the uh, six month 
strange what was this one that was a different value okay uh, so six months okay strange that's changed order um okay so then in this one we've got 200 as the original value uh, then we have this 212, uh, which is the average, and then on the six month one, it's saying 215. Okay, so the reason it's 12 and not so, because you would, an average of these two would be um, 418 divided by 2, which would be 209. But because I think it's taking this first one twice, that would be 618 divided by 3, not 600, yeah, 636, uh, 636, which is 218 times 2 plus 200, um, gives us, divided by 3, gives us this 212. Okay, so. Let's have a look at this uh, multi-row tool. So it's in preparation, multi-row formula. That's what we want. So if we bring this here, let's just bring it down here so we can see what we're doing. Okay, and then we join that up. Okay, so now we have this um, multi-row um, formula. Now, let's have a quick look thing to do, as I did last time, is have a look at these examples. They're really useful. So it's opened another row with it. So uh, fill in nulls. Well, we have some nulls. Do we need to fill them in? Um, so if we go to, what was it? Uh, four, oh. OK, 14. So here it's got the nulls in there so they've not replaced the nulls they've not done anything with this data so they've not taken like the the, the, the month before uh, looks it. Uh, yeah okay so six, this is the first month of the nulls and then it's no, the one before okay so we have hmm, how do we split out these these different categories. How many of them are there? So let's have a look in the okay, so for all of these different categories. Okay, let's have a look at this, see if we can work it out, if we can uh... Okay, so multi row, so we can group by the category. Okay, there we go. Right, so we can group by that category. So we're not uh, over overwriting it we want to go back two rows so that we can go hold on let's just see because it had something in here what was it uh okay yeah so this example calculates a three month rolling average of sales values okay so if we have a look at this um it's uh by product okay so three month average fixed decimal, two rows, product. Okay, so uh, create, yep, so we create a new field, and then this is the expression of the average, rolling average, uh, sales, then sales comma on the row minus one, and then, so you want the sales in that row, the sales in the previous row and the sales in the row two prior. Okay, right. So let's go back here and have a look at this. Uh, so we want new field and we want to call it uh, three month running uh, average. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. Um, so, pro uh, okay. Now, what was this hint? Values do not must be closest value. So, in here, set to closest value. 
close to the valid row. Okay, here we go. And then we write our expression. So, well, why we should remembering expressions? So let's just go back and look at what it said here. So average. Actually, let's just do this. Uh, average. But it's not sales because sales doesn't exist on here. We want average for the first um, function. Uh, so uh, the active one. Let's just take so the average of this, and then we want to let's just copy that, and then we can replace the sales here. We could, I guess, have just gone in here and, yep, clicked on here and here. Okay. There we go. So that gives us a, does that give us it, what we wanted? Um, let's just run this, see what we get. Okay, so we now have 218, 218, 212, and then 230, 30, not 233. That's interesting. Um, why would we get a different different number there. That's strange. What's the number in here? So if we go to month three, we've got this too. So this, okay, and then it's 230 here. And on the input, Six months. It's two, two, four. Oh, we haven't done that one yet. So the two. It is two thirty in here, though. Okay. So maybe this is actually wrong. Okay. All right. So we've got got this. So now I guess we can just copy that. Um. Paste it. it gives us something there. Field three already this okay, yes, all right. Uh, so we want to change that to six. I remember on the which is this integer, I wonder if that matters. Uh, so in here oh, we have what's the metadata, what's the data? It's a string. It's not helpful, is it? Okay, so, well, for us, we've got a integer 42. Now, in the multi-row formula, it suggested fixed decimal with 12 characters and two decimal places. We could have anything in there that is a number. Okay, so let's let's um, let's go back here and see what we can go with. Right, well, let's build the build the. Um, so we actually want five rows. That's what I'm guessing. Either way, and we can then group by category again. Um, and then, uh, so in here, we want comma and then minus three and then this one. And then comma and then minus four, row four, and then this one. And then comma 
and then row minus five, and then that one. Okay, so that gives us all of that. Okay, let's run that. See what we get. Okay, so that's run. Nope, oh, I'm on the metadata. Switch back to the real data. Okay, so for six months, six months, um, and then uh, we want to go to, yep, somewhere like here. So the month six. Actually, let's just check. Okay, we had in here, uh, on, where is it? On 12 on that bit, but then on this thing called, strangely called input underscore three, we've got 215. And if we look here, we have 215. That's, that's good. If we go to month six, we're expecting 221. So if we go to here, all the way down to month six, and here we are, 221. Okay, so that seems to give us the output we want, although it's not in the four format, it's not in the format that they have here. Um, okay, but that's only for that first, so we're going to have to repeat this for all the other fields. So, um, how do we, what's the best way of doing that? I think we'll just go through and we'll have to change this to be for this particular field. So if we stick that there and just put that at the front. Okay. And on this one, put down at the front. That will give us those. Now we have to repeat all of this with all that. So let's go through and do that. And uh, see if I can speed this up on the recording. But Have a P, please, Bob. P. There we go. Right, all done. And then, uh, therefore, we're good. So, okay, so we've gone through and done all six of the um, each field, um, applying that to it. So let's just run that. Let's see it chugging through there. Okay, so the output that we now have is all these three and six month running averages. Um, all the way through. Now, let's just check this six month one because I'm thinking that we, they, it, this isn't the right value. So, uh, okay, so we have on here, um, let's just check, one one for this P, okay, because we've got some here. Let's try this one. Month two, DK. D1K, has got all this after it, 29581. So let's have a look in here. Uh, so month two, six month, uh, where is this one here? It's not got, it's got three, three, one, two, 
zero two five and in here they're expecting this number here. So we're not on the same page six month average three one two zero two five. Uh, so on month two, uh, it's a very different number. Now why is it? Oh no, it's on this input. But it's still a very different number. So we need to work out why is that. But even on these ones, it's a very different number. So on the three year, so this one, two, nine, five, eight, one. And we've got two, nine, five, one. There's something odd that's going on here these numbers. Okay, so what if it's not integer, let's try let's try double. Uh where is it on this one here? Double and double see what we get then. Okay, so let's have a look. <clears throat> okay, so now we've got a different number. Okay, so we're looking at two nine five one so eight one two and then this number here. So what's this red telling me? Display very rounded. Okay, so it's rounding it. Okay, so if we go to here and look at the second month DK. Two nine five eight one two six reoccurring. So here, which one was it? This one here. Uh, two nine five eight one two six reoccurring. Okay, so yeah, so that seems to be it. So I just have to go through and change all these to doubles. Okay. So that will give us, um, I think, the, four, uh, the numbers we're after. So we now need to put it into this record. Oh, record ID. So we need a record ID. Oh, okay. We didn't have that in the in the data set. So what we can do, let's just see. Yeah. So record ID. We need to create a record ID. So uh, um, let's put that right at the beginning. That's before we do. I don't know, maybe you didn't even do it at the end. It shouldn't matter. We haven't changed anything of the order. So, uh, again, you can do that with the multi row formula. Because if I remember here, it says something about a record ID. Uh, yeah, create a grouped record ID field. Okay, so does that mean. Oh, that's a good point. So, back on here on our output, what is. When it changes. RM RM value. Now if we try and find one of those nulls, they'll hopefully just pop up. There we go. Oh, too far. Okay, so uh, five, so nine. Here we go. Right. Okay, so we got some nulls there. So um, on the next one after the null. It just to adds on, so we're not grouping them. It's just just the next one along. Okay, so okay, so we don't need to worry too much about the grouping bit. Let's just uh, look at this. So a record column creates uh, for each product expression starting with prior. So we click on this one. So it's still grouped by product, but it's just doing this this thing. So let's just pick up that formula because all you're doing is doing minus one record plus one, uh, zero or 
empty plus one and it's called record ID. So switch back. Well, actually, even better. Let's just steal the whole tool. Okay, let's take that out. Paste this one in. There we go. Bring that in. So there we go. So that um, that should create as a record ID. Although we, well, that's where the matters where where it is. Okay. To run that, and see what we get. Um, so right at the end, we now have record ID one two three four five. Here we go. Okay. So let's see if we can then work on this formatting. So name value. So we to, to to create it. This is obviously from a transpose. So if we go into transform, where we're taking things that we have. Let me look here. Things that we have in columns across across the data set. We want to move to rows. So that's transpose. Let's bring this in. Okay, um, now as always, let's have a quick look at the cheat, or well, not cheat, the open example, there are examples in here. We can do a basic um, uh, transpose. So if you, if you look here, we've got key fields. So those are the ones we don't want to change in this particular example. And then these, this one happens to be, let's just run this so you can see, because um, it's looking at, um, so we do before we've got the data across here which is what how you often get it out of um, tools like uh, SAP um, they love to, to put the, the months across here I don't know it must be an accounting thing um, and then if you um, uh, look here it's you know it's put in a probably a more useful format for you know, uh, reporting Dashboards, types, you know, Tableau, Power BI, that kind of thing, because it's uh, it's now in a, a category of its own rather than a column of its or a field of its own per month. Um, so let's see if we can now uh, take that. So we want to take the six, six, all of these. So these are the all everything we want. So the, we want the category. What else do we want that's in here? Um, so we've got the year and month and record ID. And well, the category is actually transposed. Okay, so let's go back here. Let's change that. So we don't want the category. We want the record ID. And then we want the year and month. Okay, and then we want everything else including RM category to be transposed. Okay, so let's run that and see what happens. Okay, so we now have 25,992. So how many did we have up here? 25,992. Okay, so we've got the right number of rows. That's a good start. Uh, we've got this in the wrong order, right? Um, so let's just uh, move these around. We can do that, and we might need to rename some of these inputs as well because uh, they don't match. This has, what's that got? Leading spaces. Okay, interesting. Um, so let's rename. We can before we do the transpose, let's actually uh, rename these fields to be in line with what we would expect to see here. So they seem to be repeated. Right. Here and here. We can't have the field the same name though. How are we going to do that? That's, uh, but then they have this input underscore hash three underscore for this the thrust for the six month. 
one. So let's have a let's have a think about how we so we do that. That must be and they're in different orders as well. I'm wondering if it matters that much that we've got a different, actually got different field names. Um, uh, oh, because that is, let's just go further down, see if there's something in there. Once we get to the proper months in there. Oh, no, it does just repeat. Oh, that's underscore, that's dot. Okay, right, I was trying to work out what the difference is there. Okay, so we can just rename them. Um, uh, so let's just bring in a select tool here. Now this is going to mess up our transpose, but we'll just redo that. Okay, so we've got, well, this is all, all, so that's all dot. So we want this one to be C underscore LK98. Uh, and then this one, oh, it's all grouped it. We want to be, what is that weird name? Input. Input. Let's highlight it, highlight without headers. Copy, I copy it, copy selected without headers. And then if we go into the select, Paste seems to have done it. Yes. Okay. Right, there you go, okay. Let's see if we can then run this, run. And that should give us our output. Okay, so, let's run up. So, RM category 10, RM, then this, so let's just switch to that. Okay, I didn't notice any difference. So let's scroll down to row 31. And, oh, let's stick a browse on the end of here. That would help for us to be able to evaluate. I'm gonna be browse. Um, run. Okay, so click on here, scroll down to row, what do we have at the top, 31. Okay, so that one, and then click on here. What is that? Oh, is that the same? Oh, I'm losing 
the plot. Oh, let's just make this nearer to that. So we can just do an easier switch. Ooh, they're the different. Why are they different? Okay, so the ordering is not quite right by the looks of it. They're just swapping round. So uh, D underscore one is in the wrong place. D uh, see if that fixes it. Okay, so we have um, back at 31, so we now have that there. Okay, yeah, so when we switch between the two, it looks pretty identical. Uh, there we go. So go down to, what is it, 14, we'll see a load of nulls, probably 14, 7. Yeah, we've got some nulls there. So on this one, yep. Yeah. See how it keeps the same position when you're switching between browse tools. That's handy. Yep, looking good. Everything is the same. So I think that's pretty good. Now don't forget to go back. So we'll save this file, save as uh, in, uh, 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 in in my Ultrix folder. So come. Completed. Uh, oh, yeah. completed, uh, and we'll just put it in there. And therefore, we can then go back to the challenge. So, what you do here is you press reply. Reply. Um, complete. Completed. And then we'll just. Uh, Browse and bring our file up, and then uh, and then we can post it once it's loaded, and that will add you to the uh, the running list of uh, people who've co who've completed the challenge. Um, there are over a hundred of them at the moment, over 150, I believe. So it took me a while to go through them all, um, but that's the challenge. That's the target. And uh, I've now done three. Okay. Oh, before we go, let's just have a quick look at the solution, which I haven't. Oh, where's the solution? The solution is back on here. And as you notice from the start, it had it here. So let's just see how the solution was. Okay. So if we open that, <coughs> oh, I've gone to create a newer version than I have. Wow. Okay. So that's very different. So they're taking the let's just run it, see what how they how differently they're doing it. Okay, so um they've got your input of these things, so they're then sorting it uh by a record ID. So they're creating a record ID. Okay, right, so you can do that with a uh with a sorry, a record ID, it's not a sort tool, it's a record ID tool. Um, I did it using the multi-role formula, but you can do it with this, I guess. Um, and then they, they're doing, so they're I guess they're taking out, they're doing a transpose straight away. And I suppose they're taking that to split them out. And then they're doing a reorder. What are they doing here? So taking the values and what does that give you? And reordering it. Uh, then, oh, they're giving it to a zero. That's interesting. Okay. Then a specific, um, sort. So they're sorting it by name and then, um, the, the record ID. So that, and then they're, then they're applying these two formula roles. So they're doing this one here, which is a three month. As you can see, it's the same, the double, um, and then by, RM category and then this they've just called it value um, and then here I guess they just copied it and just added in yeah here we go added in oh they've done that in much different well kind of different way average uh, as opposed to using average they've just taken all three six values and divided by six um, uh, again closest valid so it saves you having to fill in things um, and then 
just by name. And then they bring all three, so the original and the three month and six months, all back together. So this is where this input thing came from. Um, and then they've renamed some of them. This had input number two, which is interesting because our data set didn't have it. Um, then they're well, then they're doing a select, but if you can see, all these are now missing. They must be from the oh yes, from the previous. It's a bit weird. Do they just take them out? Oh yes, they must just take them out. Um, okay. Oh, they've just renamed them all. Okay, so that's two. Um, and then they're doing another transpose here, which then takes them all. But this is two. So what's their actual thing look like in terms of the values? Three. I can't see a three in here. That's bizarre. Okay, so. Um, there you go. I don't know how I did that, but we did it in a much more, I guess, straightforward way. We've got, although we have all of this formulas, it's very easy to see exactly which one we're doing. So uh, there you go. Yeah, as always with all tricks, there are five different ways of doing the same thing. Anyway, thanks very much for, for watching, and uh, hopefully you can uh, have a go yourself, or you've already got it, and you've probably done it in a much quicker way than I have. All right, thanks.